It takes courage to reach, and that's exactly what 49ers wide receiver Dwight Clark did on the field and in the community. Before his passing, Dwight attended several of these REACH scholarship events. Our friends at Intero Foundation have established an award in his honor. Receiving the Intero Dwight Clark Achievement Award this year is Los Altos senior Brandon Louie. It all seems so innocent, Brandon Louie enjoying the surf in Hawaii on vacation. In a moment, his life changed forever. Over my sophomore summer in high school, I was surfing in Hawaii, and as I stood up on my surfboard, I felt a little pop in my back, um, which initially didn't feel too bad. It just felt like a strained muscle, but over the next 15 minutes or so, the pain got worse, and uh, it forced me to go back to the beach and lie down to take a rest. And as I was lying there, I lost all sensation and movement in my legs. Brandon would never regain the use of his legs. It's called surfer's myelopathy, a very rare condition affecting less than 100 people, all novice surfers. Brandon's love for sports would be key to his recovery. It was definitely a tough pill to swallow initially, but luckily when I was in the hospital around that time, I saw the um, Paralympics starting up, and later on in the rehab center, I saw um, the wheelchair basketball players um, competing at the Tokyo Olympics or Tokyo, Tokyo Paralympics and uh, that was when I kind of decided that I'd still try and be an athlete and, and, make, it, and make my way back to uh, where I was before. Brandon competes with the wheelchair basketball team and with the track team at Los Altos High School. Brandon says one of the scariest parts of his recovery was dealing with family and friends in a whole new way. It was very initially scary actually. The idea of, of seeing all my friends and family again just in a different light, you know, from a different angle, you know. Uh, there was things that I wasn't really thinking about initially when I came back, like the existence of stairs in a lot of the buildings or just how hard it was to go on campus when there's small slopes here and there and just getting used to the cracks in the ground and, and, and the pathways maybe being uneven in certain parts. But ultimately, it actually wasn't so bad because I still had the same friends, the same circle of friends, the same support from all the people, and it was really, really a welcoming environment that helped me get back to the normal life. Now Brandon looks forward to a bright future. He will compete in wheelchair basketball at the University of Arizona next year, beginning his life as a college student, another major change, but nothing he can't handle.